What you see before you is a monument built by contributions by 600,000 Americans. This is a monument to not only the men and women and their families who will come here, but as a monument to the generosity of our citizens and their love for those who serve. While at Brook Army Medical Center, we're incredibly proud to be the home for the Center for the Intrepid, or CFI. This is a rehabilitative jewel in our nation and it provides care, rehabilitative care, for our nation's sons and daughters that have been wounded or ill or injured from combat or accidents uh, throughout the United States and abroad. Back in 2005, Mr. Arnold Fisher from the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Foundation decided to um, build an advanced rehabilitation center for the DOD. But it's more than a building. It was a gift from the American people. Through Mr. Fisher and the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, over 600,000 Americans dedicated their hard-earned money to give a place for our wounded service members to rehabilitate. And that makes this place incredibly special. I think one thing that, that's really special about this place is, is the care is just real patient-centered and focused. Um, and it's a, a, a specialized care that you're not going to see at any other place. We're always testing the limits, so even at this time, we're either testing new prosthetics or exoskeletons. We're also trying to make it very military specific, so we'll look at everyone's uh, what we call MOS or their job specific um, skill set and tailor the program with the goal of, of being able to keep you on the active duty. We have a military performance lab that is the best in, in the world. Um, so we're able to get a, all sorts of data from that, research-wise as well as clinical data. Research actually accounts for about a quarter of the volume of the facility. We've really kept our eye on generating information that can be shared with the broader public. And so we've done it in the form of presentations through publications as well as a textbook. One of the key things that we do here um, is that we can really prove the technologies. We can determine what works, what doesn't work, and so that way we're informing not only our care providers within the facility, but also the broader rehabilitation and research community. The Center for the Intrepid is world-renowned for multiple different treatment options and modalities. One of the most recent is the innovation called the Intrepid Dynamic Exoskeletal Orthosis, or IDEO. The IDEO, to me, is, is the greatest invention that's come out of these conflicts. It's taken people who are essentially disabled and has made them able. And then once you get it on, it's immediate. For patients who once opted to have their limb removed because they couldn't do the things they wanted to, this device is now returning them to where they can go out in the front yard and play with their kids. Uh, where they can go fly fishing with their dad again, or they may even go back to combat. So I think one of the greatest days here at the CFI now is when that patient who's had um, a limb injury for four, five, six years comes in and puts that device on for the first time. The look in that service member's face just uh, it says it all. When I got it, I was like, this is it. I can finally move. I was really happy. It's like the best gift ever. <laughs> Get my mobility back. One thing that we, we do here at the Center for the Intrepid is we make your recovery the, the center focus of what you do. And no injury um, is ever going to be seen from our perspective as something that should hold you back. So with the lessons we learned from the Return to Run program, we started the POWER program, the Performance Optimization Warrior Enhanced Rehab program. And that's going to enable our injured service members to come to us for three to four weeks for intense rehab to be able to gain the most from their quality of life. We know that's successful. We've seen it with the IDEO patients. We want to be able to offer that to the rest of the military so that when a commander has a, an injured troop who is very valuable uh, to the mission, that commander can send a patient to us TDY for three to four weeks and with intense rehabilitation on a daily basis to include uh, the physical, the mental, the nutritional, we can return that soldier back to his commander in better shape. We also are, are hoping to learn from every injury that comes to the store, so expanding our population base is going to help that. We really feel that there's more populations out there that are going to be able to take advantage of these skills and that we're going to get better with new technologies and, and new skill sets. And we also always want to be ready if there's another conflict that, that we can handle any influx of injuries that might come through our doors.
The Center for the Intrepid has amazing technology, equipment, state-of-the-art items and modalities, but what the real heart of the program is, is the people. There have been great advances in prosthetics, but it's not what we put on our patients. It's what goes into our prosthetics, and that's some of the most amazing human beings you could ever meet in your life. Every day, uh, us staff members, we look at this as that gift from the American people, and we have to make good on America's investment, and I think we've done that. There are those who speak about you who say, he lost an arm, he lost a leg, I object. You gave an arm, you gave a leg.